Right everyone, today we are finding out about one of Celtic's latest signings, Moritz Jens. We have got Oliver Zesiger, who's a football scout based in Switzerland with us. He worked as first team scout at FC Lausanne Sport, where Jens played prior to signing for L'Oreal. Um, that's all well and good, Oliver, but the real thing I want to know right now, football manager. Your, your role you play with that game. That's that's the stuff that really interests me. So so we'll start with that. Tell me a wee bit about what, what you do for a football manager. This is usually either the first or the last question of every English-speaking podcast. Yeah, I'm uh, the chief scout head researcher of uh, the Swiss leagues, which means I oversee a team of 20, roughly 20 people who research all the clubs, who scout the players, who uh, add data to the game. And... Uh, who really do a lot of work so you, the player, can enjoy the game. Very good. Um, that's kind of my dream job. So if you if you know anyone at Sports Interactive and you could put a wee word in to get me doing the same for, for Scotland, that would be the dream um, somewhere down the line. Um, let's chat about Celtic's new number six then. Uh, I should say a wee shout out to Craig King, Football Swiss, on Twitter for his help in sorting this interview and, and recommending Oliver. Um, now, on the face of it, Oliver, I would I would look at Jens signing for Celtic maybe a little bit surprising, given that he wasn't a massive star for Lorient last season. They were a team who finished just above the relegation places in Ligue 1. What do you make of it and what do you think Celtic have seen in Moritz Jens? I think this is a, a case in scouting where you should always track the players that you like. Um, I know that Celtic scouted him multiple times when he was at Lausanne. They liked him. And then he chose, I believe, Lorient over Celtic um, two years, two seasons ago, was it? Um, or last season, I don't remember exactly. Anyway, um, yeah, Celtic tracked him for a long time. And they were interested, I think, I believe still when he was at Fulham uh, in the youth system there. And I believe now has been the chance because he has had a mixed season in France. He's, he has not played that well. And I think that now is the chance for Celtic to really grab him, even though on loan at first with the buy option. But I think yeah, this is the opportunity that they saw to sign him right now. So have you been following his career in France and, and what, how has it gone so far? I did not specifically watch him, but I saw one or two Lorient games where he featured once. And I think he's he's not... He has not great acceleration. He's a bit slow on the turn. And I think this didn't uh, suit the, the French game too well because they usually have quick, uh, quick forwards and mm -hmm. uh, quick wingers. And he can get caught uh, out of possession or out of position um, when, he, uh, when he plays against those types of forwards. And I think that uh, he's a better fit for the Scottish game. Okay, interesting. Um, he joined Fulham at the age of 16. He signed a scholarship deal in the summer of 2015. He was a teammate of Matt O'Reilly, Celtic player, uh, who he says in his own words is his best mate since he was young. Um, he also played under Peter Grant, the former Celtic player. He was a uh, under-18s captain as well at Fulham. Um, you were at Lausanne when they signed uh, Jens. What what did the club see in him at that stage? Uh, what we saw was a highly professional player, a great personality and a leader in, in a personality in becoming a leader. Um, and obviously he had not, not just a, uh, he was not just strong on the pitch, but he also had a ball playing ability. That's what we saw in him. And, Especially in scouting, I mean, you see good players all the time, but then you see good players with good personalities. Those are the ones who have a higher chance of making it, and that's what we saw in, in Moritz uh, at Fulham. Right. So what, um, what, what will Celtic fans see when we watch him? What, what kind of defender is he? He is, uh, as I said, a tall and strong defender. He's, uh, he has a good aerial game, and... What he can do with the ball is, is actually good in build-up. So uh, 
he would, I think, uh, fit uh, the Celtic system very well. He can play those diagonal balls onto the wingers. Uh, he can play a long ball to, up to the striker. He can play over multiple lines um, if he needs to. So he's one who dictates the tempo of the game from the back. And this is a rare kind of defender. And I think that's why Celtic were after him. Yeah, because we're looking for a defender who can build the game from the back. So you reckon that's one of the real things that we've seen in his game? Yes, yeah, that's one of his strengths, and one uh, one thing he likes, he really likes to do, is play with the ball. He likes the game ahead of himself. He likes to have the overview of the whole pitch, and he likes to dictate uh, the tempo uh, of of the game. He's also, uh, as I said, strong, good in the air, and he's uh, very focused, very concentrated. He rarely makes uh, has concentration lapses or makes mistakes. So he's a reliable defender as well. Okay, so I'm I'm building a profile, tall, good in the air, good with the ball at his feet, not great on the turn, Um, concentration is good. Anything else that springs out from from having watched him? As I said, the acceleration is not the quickest. I mean, he's... uh, He's tall, so he, naturally he he is um, he has problems accelerating. His pace is decent, but not great. Uh, other than that, no, that's pretty much um, strengths and weaknesses summed up. Yeah, he plays uh, on the left hand side of of the center of defense. Is he is he left footed? He's right footed. Uh, I he? think he's right. a better fit on the right side, but that depends on uh, the coach's wishes. Okay, because there was a bit of a debate going on with Celtic supporters. We were watching the YouTube videos, and he seemed to be doing a lot on his left foot. Yeah, he's, he's able to. Right, okay, that's that's good to know. Um, how highly uh, do you rate him, and, and how good do you think he can be? He, he is still only 23. Yeah, he's still, he has still some margin of progress, progression ahead of him, and I think he'll reach his full potential because he is that professional type of player, that focused type of player that I personally like very much. And um, can he be... I mean, can he outgrow Celtic in a couple of years? I think so. Um, but that depends, obviously, on the first season if he convinces the, the, uh, the club to buy him permanently. Can he make it to the Premier League? I think so. I think lower tier to mid-tier Premier League would be possible if he still uh, progresses. Um, But I think due to his physical limitations uh, that I mentioned before, that he is not going to be at a top club um, in the future. But he is a very good player and he will also, as you said, progress because of his age. And at his age, he's, at his age, he's already done a lot. So uh, uh, his career so far has been great and it's going to get better, I believe. Yeah, and, and that's obviously why Celtic have signed him uh, on a loan deal with an option to buy as well. Hopefully he does well this season and then we can we can sign him um, in a year's time. Um, yeah, I mean, in, in terms of, you know, the, the physicality, that's obviously something we've, we've been lacking. Um, he's quite good attacking set pieces, would you say? He didn't score many goals at Lausanne, but uh, yeah, he, he does get at the end of, of crosses, uh, of corners from time to time. Maybe his precision there is uh, is lacking a bit, but once he improves it, I think he's, he's good to go a couple of goals per season. Yeah, and people will have watched the first interview he did with Celtic, where I thought he came across as quite a, a, a genuine, friendly guy. Um, what kind of person is he? Um, yeah, he is that genuine and friendly guy. Uh, for example, he cares deeply about the oceans. He supports Sea Life, uh, an organization that uh, uh, makes a lot, does a lot for ocean conservation. And uh, I know he goes. He doesn't spend a lot of money. He likes to go to museums rather than to the beach. And uh, he's. Uh, man of culture i'd say and uh, a professional and approachable guy in general um he also um he also does meditation which he says himself helped his uh, concentration on the pitch so he's really not the guy who speaks up uh, in public uh, he stays for himself and uh, likes to be uh, likes to live a down to earth life so quite an interesting guy then when you when you put it like that 
if you compare him to the let's say average football player yes mm. he stands out he definitely stands out and i'm uh, on a personal note I, I like him a lot um as as you can really chat about a lot of things with him yeah um and, and we know the kind of obvious thing from a lot of the signings we've made under Ange Postacoglu there's been one common theme that they're all very driven they they all want to be at Celtic Ange wouldn't sign them if they didn't want to be here but they are driven to to you know compete for Celtic and win trophies and improve every single day is he going to is he going to fit into that and is he going to be a popular teammate I think so. I think maybe some players will look at him a bit with a different eye because he's um, he has all that those um, bit uh, different hobbies than uh, than they might have. But uh, he is driven, um, and I know that uh, I think Matt O'Reilly did talk to him uh, about Celtic and convinced him to join Celtic on the pitch. He is driven. Um, he is a winner type. Um, we, we were uh, promoted in uh, 2020 and finished the first season back in the top flight uh, in sixth place. So, and he was one of the key, key figures on the pitch. He's a winner. So uh, I think he's a good fit for Celtic. Excellent. Um, so final question then, Oliver, um, and you, you just kind of answered it there. How do you think it's going to go for him at Celtic? I hope it goes very well. I hope that uh, he convinces the club to to sign him permanently. I hope he not only um, performs well in the domestic league, but also in Europe. And I believe that he will be a success at Celtic. Yeah, it's a busy, uh, tough job being a scout. So we really appreciate a bit of your, your time, Oliver, and, and offering a bit of insight on Moritz Jens. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.